Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here and welcome to my channel for all kinds of wire art and jewelry making tutorials and live streams. Today we're going to make some star moon earrings. What you're going to need for this project is 20 gauge wire, earring hooks, some beads either six or four millimeter. You'll need a ring mandrel to make the round form of the moon or you can use markers. You'll need a flat pliers, round pliers, a ruler and some cutters. We'll start with a six to eight inch piece of wire and what we want to do is just bend it about at an inch a little bit of an angle and then we want to measure sort of the length of one of the sides of the star so we're just going to say we want to do three quarters of an inch so we'll just go to there and then push it like really push it so it makes a good strong bend and then measure it up again three quarters of an inch put your fingernail to there and take that and push it just push it across we're making like a five point star so we're just gonna we're just gonna push that across and then we're just going to measure that one up put your finger there I have other ways that you can make um, stars. I'll link up all the tutorials below. I have rings and all kinds of ornaments and things. So now we're going to measure one more time, three quarters of an inch and push it that way. So now we have the basic shape and then this wire we want to bend across the front to finish it off. So again, measure three quarters of an inch, hold that, push it across so we can remove the ruler. Now we have a nice star and we want to wind it around. It's much easier if you start the bend with your pliers first, otherwise it can get distorted. So just hold your round pliers, hold the wire here and just push it with your thumb. I like to hold the wire with my pliers and push with my hands. So there we have the starting point and then that way when you hold this and tug it, it's going to stay nicely in place. So you could bring it all the way around if you want or just cut it snugly there. And so give it a clip right there. And then you'll want to get your flat pliers. Make sure it's like nicely arranged here. Get your flat pliers, give it a little pinch so it holds in place without actually breaking the wire. And then what I like to do next is put your bead on right away. And I like to eyeball here three eighths to half an inch. So we're just going to take that and give it a little clip at that point. And then all you have to do is take your round pliers, hold this in place, take this, back it up and turn that around so just gonna turn it right around and the idea is that it just like fits nice and snugly in there so we're going to just close that up so there is our star to make the moon earrings we're going to take about a six inch piece of 20 gauge wire and we're going to bend it at about the one inch mark just bend it at a right angle to make the round form, you can either use a Sharpie or a Crayola marker or a highlighter, or you can use a ring mandrel to get different sizes. This is the stepped ring mandrel. So what you're going to do is just hold it. I'm going to try at the seven spot. We're just going to bring that one around and then you can see how it compares to the star. You might even want to make it a little bit smaller. We can go to the six. Just bring it up there, tighten it up a little bit. And then what you want to do is just hold this in the place that you want and bend it to the back. So just hold this and I'll show you on the side, just bend this to the back and same push with your finger to make a nice sharp crease and then just like push it in. So this is what you have here. And then from there, we can use a smaller spot on the ring mandrel. We'll try it at the four and just bring it around like that. If that's not small enough, grab a Sharpie, just hold this in place and then just bring this one in a little bit more. 
So from there, we're just going to adjust this how we want. You can spread that a little bit, bend that a little bit, and then we want to bend this one back. So same thing, we're going to help it out. Just eyeball it, or you could print out a template with different moon outlines on it. Just hold this here, and then just, I'm going to bend it to the front. So same thing, push it. You see I'm bent it on a right angle to the front and help it a little bit more and then just push it like that so you have that shape and then you could get the end of a marker and just so you can hold it at the edge and bring it around. So there you have the moon shape and then we're just going to like push it over a little bit just push it this way. If you find this has become too wide, you can even narrow it out a bit, to straighten that one a bit, and then bend it a little bit more to the left. There are always like little adjustments you can do. And then we want to wind that one around here. So just take your round pliers, hold that in place, and then help it out with the round pliers. And after that, just hold it snugly Give it a good little tug and clip that one in place. Push it with the flat pliers, pinch that one in, and now we want to put the six millimeter bead on there and we're going to cut it to three eighths to half an inch. Take your round pliers, bend it back and around so it just fits snugly in there, and then you can just give it a little pinch with the flat pliers. So there we have the star and moon. All we have to do now is add the hooks. I buy these little surgical steel uh, shepherd's hooks. We're gonna open it up, stick it in there. And there you have your very fun star moon earrings. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to sign up below, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.